In this video, I really wanna talk about what I think is the best bait casting rod that there is out there on the market. And I'm not necessarily talking about brand here because you can buy kind of this exact same rod in a number of different brands. And I will mention the brand that I use, but what I really wanna get across to you is what I think is the most versatile rod that we use as anglers. This particular rod I use for a number of different techniques and maybe you're on the market for one new rod and you just wanna get one that you can use a lot of different ways or maybe you're a new bass fisherman and you're wanting to buy your first bait caster this is the exact rod that I would recommend because of what you can do with it. But real quick, before we get into the video, guys, I do wanna let you guys know that I do have a lot of new bass hats in stock, a lot of different colors, ones like this Coyote Brown. It's been a really big hit. If you guys wanna help support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is shopping at my apparel company, Fin Fishing. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description. All right, let's talk about the rod. And I have a number of things to say about this particular rod, but the big thing that is really important to know is that to me, this is the most versatile rod on the market when it comes to lures that we fish. There's a number of different lures that I fish on this exact rod that I'm holding. And I basically have three of the exact same rods right here. I have another probably four or five in the boat. That They're all the exact same thing. And that's because I use them so often and I use them with so many different techniques. I mean, I throw jigs, oops. I throw jigs with this. I throw Texas rigs. Uh, I've used it for chatter baits, for spinner baits, for buzz baits. I've used it for smaller spoons. I've done flipping and pitching with it. You could use a top water bait with it. To me, like that's this, that's the reason that I love this rod. Like you can use it with so many different techniques. And when I like every now and then I'll go creek fishing. And when I go creek fishing and I know I'm gonna use a bait caster, this is the one rod I bring because I know that I can do so many different things with it. All right, now let's talk about this specific rod that I'm holding here. But again, what I really wanna get across to you is the length, the power, and the action. And we're gonna talk a little bit further about that. Now, this rod here is an Arc Tharp series rod. This is the money maker. To me, this is the best rod. This rod here is another Arc, oops. This rod here just almost broke that. This rod here is another one that's almost the exact same. It's a seven foot, three inch. This is actually a Magnum medium heavy and it's a fast action. These rods are very, very similar. And all the brands of rods that I've used across, like in my lifetime, I mean, I've used Daiwas and Abu Garcias and Flugers. And I mean, I've used so many different rods, Shimano's. I've used so many different rods. This same length power and action, I always buy. And real quick, I wanna talk about why I think it's so important, so versatile. And one is, Seven, let's talk about seven foot three inches. That's the first thing. To me, seven foot three inches is just the perfect sweet spot when it comes to a rod. I think that if you get much above seven foot six inches, you start to lose out a little bit with your accuracy. Now, the taller you are, typically the more accurate you can be with a longer rod, but seven foot three, to me, it's perfect. Now, below seven foot, I find that that's where you really start to kind of lose out on your casting distance. Usually the longer your rod is, the further that you can cast. So again, kind of being in that sweet spot of seven foot three, I love that just rod length. To me, it's very comfortable. I use it for a number of different things, which I've told you a hundred times already. Now, medium heavy power. You know, to me, I really like a medium heavy because I think it just fits most of what bass fishermen do, you know, for the most part. Like you're gonna have some stuff that are, you know, that's really light. If you're throwing really, you know, light Texas rigs, you could still do it with this rod, but it, it might be a little overpower or some there. Um, and then if you're like flipping and pitching a one ounce weight, it might be, this rod might not be enough. But like I said, this rod is still extremely versatile. You could do those things with this rod if you wanted, or if you were like, I don't have the budget to buy 30 different rods. I just want one rod that I can do it all with. That's why I think a medium heavy is perfect. Now, this rod here, it's labeled as a fast action. 
but to me, it's a little bit more of like a moderate fast. Um, and that's because it bends a little bit further down the blank. It bends kind of at that like 70 to 75% mark. Usually a fast action is kind of like an 80, 20 rod. But that's why I like this specific rod so much is because rods that bend further down the blank, they usually have a little bit more give. That helps you a lot when you're fishing treble hooked baits. So although this wouldn't be the first rod that I would buy like if I was gonna throw a treble hook, like a crankbait or a topwater bait, this thing is sufficient. You can go out there and catch bass with this rod. So I think that's the big point that I'm trying to make with this is that yes, we have very, um, we have a lot of rods on the market that are like lure specific, but I know that a lot of us don't have the budget for that. And I know a lot of us just want that one extra rod and this is the one that I would recommend. Now, the last part of this, oh, I actually talked about fast action. So the big thing though, is I wanna know what your guys' favorite rod is. And I would like you to put it down below in the comment section, because I know that if you live down in Florida, for example, you might like a heavy power and you might like a seven foot six because you're doing a lot of flipping and pitching primarily. But if you live up in Minnesota or you live in California or you live in New York or Ohio, like there's a lot of different rods that might fit what you do fishing wise a little bit better. To me though, this still is the most versatile rod when it comes to techniques. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow.